In this video, I will showcase data massaging or data processing with Automation Edge Process Studio. Let us begin. We will work with this folder structure. The input folder has the source file. The workflow folder has the Automation Edge Process Studio workflow which performs the data massaging. And the output folder is currently empty. It will store the result file. I have opened the input file. It has employee information such as role number, name and designation. The role number is in random order. It is not sorted. If you notice the columns, there are multiple employee names with the same designation. We will perform data massaging on this file. I have now opened the Automation Edge Process Studio workflow. As you can see, it has two branches. The first branch performs the data massaging to get the employee count by designation. And the second branch does data processing to sort employees by role number. We will discuss each branch one by one. Let us begin with the first branch and see the step configurations. The first step is the Microsoft Excel step, which is common to both the branches. It reads the source file and distributes all the rows to both the branches. In the Files tab, select the spreadsheet type engine. Browse your file in the File or Directory field and click Add to add it to the list of selected files below. In this case, you see the parameter Internal Entry Current Directory. It refers to the current workflow directory. The two dots denote the input folder's relative path, followed by the input folder and the file name. Using the parameter makes the file path dynamic to the workflow folder. Scroll to the right, select values for the required and include subfolders as needed. If required is yes, the file must be present at the location, else the workflow fails as it cannot skip the file. You can also accept file name from previous steps by enabling the checkbox. On the Sheets tab, get your sheet by clicking on the button. On the Content tab, enable the checkbox to include headers. On the Fields tab, click the button to get the fields from the header row in the Excel file. The second step is to sort rows in the input file by a column header. Select Designation as the field name to sort and specify the ascending or descending order in the fields table. This step is a prerequisite for the next step. The third group by step groups rows by one or more column headers and performs an aggregation operation to generate a new field. Select a field to group by. Provide an aggregate name and subject and select an aggregate type. The list has several options such as sum, minimum, maximum, etc. Select the number of values option to get the count of employees. The last step is the Microsoft Excel Writer step to generate the result file. Specify the result file name to create. Choose the file type extension. Provide the sheet name to create. Select the replace with new sheet option if sheet exists. In the content tab, check the right header to add headers to the result file. Get fields from the previous steps. Provide field titles for the Excel sheet. The data massaging from the source to the results file for employee count by designation is complete. We will execute the workflow and check the results towards the end of the video. OK, let us move forward. It is time to discuss the second branch to sort employees by role number. The input step remains the same. The other steps include a sort step, a block step, and an MS Excel writer step. Let us discuss the step configurations. The second step is the sort step. Select roll number as the field name to sort and specify the ascending or descending order in the fields table. The third step is a block step to block the data at this step. Configure it to watch the first Excel writer step. The step will block processing until the row operations in the first Excel Writer step are complete. It is necessary to block processing of the second Excel Writer step until the first one is complete, since both the branches are writing to the same Excel file. Lastly, the configurations of the second Excel Writer step are similar to those discussed for the first Excel Writer step. Provide the same results file. However, note that the sheet name is different and select the Replace with New Sheet option if sheet exists. Now let us execute the workflow. Observe the log records and the step metrics. Notice the step metrics for the Excel input step. It has read the 21 rows in the file and distributes to both the branches, hence showing 42 rows written. 
Let us preview the data in the results file. The first Excel writer step shows the employee count by designation. And the second Excel writer step shows the employee listing sorted by roll number. Let us check the output folder. It has an Excel file now. The file has two sheets as expected. The designation wise details sheet lists the designations with the count of employees. And the employee details sheet has all the employees sorted by roll number. In this video, we saw data massaging with no code but powerful processing with Automation Edge Process Studio. Thank you for watching.